planners. We all have come to a place at some point in our business where we have to learn how to pivot and scale. Sometimes situations in life cause us to make this decision in order to accommodate the change, such as a growing family, maybe an elderly parent, or a loss in a job. Other times, it's the natural progression of business in order to continue to be sustainable, incur growth, and innovate. So today, I wanna share with you three quick steps on understanding how to decrease your current business in order to prepare for the increase of the future business. Number one, first know when to reap and when to sow. We are all naturally givers, so we're always in full-blown sow mode. But sometimes you have to be in a season of reaping to unlearn in order to relearn something new. You have to replenish yourself because when pouring, you know and I know, it'll run out. Things will become old if you're not pouring in and replenishing. Number two, commit to change. Change your thoughts, change your actions, and change the way you execute. I know it might feel funny at first, but you have to start thinking on another level if you want another level of results. Lastly, and the hardest one for many of us, is be patient. Be patient with yourself and with the newness of it all. Just like when you first started down this road, you have to give things time to take its course and to see the results. My golden rule of business is to give it 30 days at least. It takes 30 days just to form a habit. So if the results come after the execution, then add another 30 to that. And there you have it, friends. Three steps to decrease in order to increase. Have a wonderfully productive day. And remember, the business doesn't work unless you do.